All right, it's time for the Cybertruck Roundup. Yeehaw! The Cybertruck Roundup. So John Shahidi said Cybertruck has been sent to Texas and will be used by our team in Dallas. And Elon said, cool. And that's the guy that owns Happy Dad's uh, Drinks. Big, big podcaster. Over on Cybertruck Owners Club, who sponsor us, by the way, thank you very much. We just saw a bunch of Cybertruck owners posting about getting Vision Park Assist with the new over-the-air update 2024.26.11. I guess Ashok wasn't kidding when he said last week that Cybertruck would be getting its first driver assist feature by the end of the week. And I got it this morning. You got it. Awesome. All right, so to remind us all about what this is, Tesla tells us Tesla Vision Park Assist now displays a high fidelity 3D representation of the world around your vehicle, including the proximity and shape of nearby objects, barriers, vehicles, and painted road markings. You can use Park Assist with or without audible feedback. Note, Park Assist is for guidance purposes only and is not a substitute for an alert driver. Remain attentive and avoid obstacles as required. So to be clear, this is Vision Park Assist. This is not Vision Auto Park. So Vision Auto Park is coming at some point, and that is where your vehicle will park itself without you having to be in the driver's seat. Oh, God. Okay, thank you, because I would have probably just hopped out of the car and been like, okay, park yourself, yeah, car, no. and be like, why aren't you doing it? <laughs> All right, no. so this is an assist feature at the moment. Yes, and it was actually really helpful this morning. Um, I kind of have a complicated way to back out, and it gave me a nice visual uh, top-down idea of of like what I was doing because I have been. Wait, you using, were leaving? I was it, leaving my uh, apartment. Oh, it can do it on leaving and parking, like leaving yeah, the parking space. It's, it's kind of like having uh, the ultrasonic sensors. It's actually better because you get to really understand where your truck is That's in awesome. real space. Um, everything though looks really doughy. I mm -hmm. mean, totally accurate as far as I can tell. Not that I'm gonna like get really close to anything, but um, it just looks like, everything looks like it's made out of like clay or dough. It reminds me of like Into the Night Kitchen, but it's, it's pretty but good. It works. That's yeah. great. All right, we get a Cybertruck pulling an Airstream Pan American. This weighs about 6,000 pounds, by the way. And Elon says, wow, big one. Nick Cruz Patane says Cybertruck silences the crowd with a 260 foot sled pull. Check this out. Now, do you hear how confused the audience is? I don't, I mean, I watched more of this where they were doing other trucks that were like, yeah. Rrr, rrr, yeah. and the crowd's like, yeah! right? And then the Cybertruck does it and like, <laughs> Something ain't right. Well, they just don't understand how. Did the truck just do right. that? No engine noise. And uh, so I just want to say these are equivalent to like 250, 350 Ford F-150s or like 2500 Chevys. Like this is a big equivalent, but the crowd just doesn't get it. It's so hilarious to watch. I knew something special about it. Now, remember how Tesla had each of us Cybertruck owners agree that we wouldn't sell our Cybertrucks without first offering Tesla to buy them back? Right. Tesla said that there would be a $50,000 penalty if we resold our Cybertrucks within a year. Well, it's been less than a year and Tesla has quietly removed that section from their sales agreement. Tesla did ban a few people from buying Teslas again who bought Cybertrucks and then resold them. Tesla wrote to one reseller, moving forward, any future orders placed by you will be canceled without a refund of the $100 reservation or $250 order fee as official notification has been provided to you regarding this matter. And then Tesla canceled two additional Cybertruck orders that they had placed. Oof. Banned by Tesla. <laughs> Nothing for you. <laughs> but now they're getting rid of it? Do those people get to un... I mean, I guess they no, did... No, they did it during the period of the They did violate the stupid clause thing. Well, it's, Tesla told you that's what it was. I mean, you... were, was this really going to kill Tesla if people resold their Cybertrucks? You can't go in there, brazenly flout the rules. Well, I mean, speaking of resellers, Love Deep sent us this listing they spotted in OfferUp in Port Orchard, Washington. Is that... Hold up. Wait a minute. Is that a Chevy? That is a wrapped Cybertruck wrapped to look like a Chevy 454 big block. Wow. Definitely a big block. Um, so they're asking $250,000 for it. Don't they know anyone can buy one for 100000 Apparently not. I guess they're or just Or maybe hoping... they're hoping people don't know you can order. Like, oh, I've never Tesla. seen one that looks like that. <laughs> right. It's a wrap. You can get it wrapped for less than that. And there'll be at least one more Cybertruck in Australia. Chris saw this photo of a Cybertruck packed up and ready to head off to Adelaide, South Australia. So if you spot it when it arrives there, please send us a photo or video to hello at nowyouknowchannel.com. You guys are awesome reporters, by the way. So we noticed this. When you supercharge the Cybertruck, which is DC, you can still use the bed outlets. 
to keep running a refrigerator or whatever. But when you level two charge, which is AC, the bed outlets stop working. Darn. Well, Wes Morrill, Tesla's lead engineer for reliability test and analysis for Tesla's vehicles, explained why this is. The AC-DC converter used to take grid AC and convert it to DC to charge the high voltage battery is the same hardware used to generate the AC grid you use for your onboard power. There are several power stages in the AC-DC converter, so it may be possible to use one to charge at a limited rate while simultaneously providing grid generation at a limited rate, but will require some fancy triaging from the controls, which takes time to develop. When you supercharge, you're putting DC voltage directly to the high voltage battery, so it doesn't use the power converter hardware, which is why you can use onboard power while supercharging. So that explains what you've already figured out. Yes. I think that it takes AC power coming from the grid and it can turn it into DC power to charge the battery. Okay, so you run that in reverse and all of a sudden you have the inverter that runs the thing. So you've saved hundreds of dollars and you've saved dozens of pounds. Um, and so unlike where some people were like, well, maybe there's just another inverter in there that they just disable for some reason. No, it very well could be that it's simply that they did put a separate inverter well, in. Well, because here's my question. Could software someday change this? It was, no, it was that the inverter is the charger being used, and right. the charger is the inverter. But it does sound like maybe with some amazing software, they'll be able to allow you to do both. Yeah, so the different power stages. Is that like there's a bank of... I'm I'm not a <laughs> professed. I'm not an electrical engineer. Massimo says, polishing a Cybertruck like a mirror. Check this out. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Should we do this to our truck? We've got a polisher in the shop. We do have a polisher in the shop. So comment Just below if you think we should. Let's say 10,000 comments and we'll do it. Let's say 10,000 likes. Okay. 10,000 likes. Okay. And what, you don't want a shiny Cybertruck? I do. Okay. Let's say 8,000 likes. All right. 8,000 likes. 8,000 we'll, likes. And we'll polish that baby up. Head down to Harbor Freight, get some polishing <laughs> compound and the and the polishing wheel. Yeah. And sure, some angle, some, uh, it won't, won't really be elbow juice, but there'll be some elbow juice. Well, required. and as Elon says. Elon said, cool. <laughs> maybe he'll say cool when we do it. That's maybe. And yeah, we are sponsored by Cybertruck Owners Club. Thank you so much, guys. Um, their site is awesome for all the Cybertruck news that we find every week and the reservation tracker so you can find out when you're going to get yours. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depth on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.